Hello everybody, my name is Anita Zdowska and I am a fashion photographer and YouTuber and today I will be talking to you about tips and tricks about fashion photography and some of my favorite Sony gear that I use on a daily basis. When you're working with fashion, the most important thing is the clothing. For years I didn't really understand it very well. I kind of treated it more as a portrait photography in a way where you know the model was the main subject and then the clothing was just the accessory. So I think that's how it's different. It's, it's all about the clothes, how you present the clothes, how the clothes flow, um, how they look on camera and so on. Sometimes you get jeans and a t-shirt and sometimes you get a beautiful flowy dress, but you have to make sure that the clothing looks good because with portrait, if the clothing looks a bit off, it's okay. But if it is a fashion shoot and it's a client shoot, and the clothing is creased or it doesn't look okay, then you're going to have a, a bad time in Photoshop, so. The advice I have for the aspiring fashion photographers is first and foremost to try and assist a photographer if you can. There is no better way to learn fashion photography than from somebody who's already experienced and who's already been in it. Not only will you be able to learn how to take photos, but also potentially learn the business side of things, which is much more difficult, especially when it comes to rates, dealing with clients, uh, dealing with people on set and so on. If you can't assist somebody, at least watch YouTube videos from other fashion photographers that you love and you will see how they do things and it's just going to make it a bit easier. Secondly, when it comes to lighting and fashion photography, it's obviously super important. It's how you tell the story. I would recommend that you decide what kind of style you want to go for by exploring different things. Try and shoot natural light, try and shoot studio, try different focal lengths because sometimes you might be surprised by the things that you like. So at the moment, I am using two camera bodies. I am using the Sony a7R 4 and the Sony a7 IV. I kind of use them interchangeably. When it comes to my lenses, I'm pretty minimalist. I have my 24 to 70, and I also have the 70 to 200. I shoot quite a lot of swimwear as well as fashion photography, and the 70 to 200 is pretty useful, especially if I'm trying to capture the more dreamy kind of images when it comes to swimwear. My day-to-day -day lens is the 24 to 70. I've been using it for years. It's so versatile. You can go on the 24 and get some really nice wide shots that incorporate a lot of nature in it, as well as your subject, or you can go up to 70 and get a bit more of an intimate shot as well. I am a recent convert to a 70 to 200 and I really love using it, especially if I'm having a beachy shoot or if I am shooting in a location that might not be as nice as some of the other ones. Um, it does a great job of blurring out the background, making the bokeh really beautiful and smooth. And I just really enjoy shooting it. I think it's really helpful if you use this when you try and capture something that is a bit more close to a realistic image rather than something that is a bit more distorted and a bit funky. When it comes to using this lens, I usually go for the 70 to maybe 135 range. I find shooting between the 100 and 135 gives you a really, really cool close-up beauty image that you can use, even use shooting with natural light. And I just feel like it gives me the more realistic image. The third lens that I wanted to mention that I've been playing around recently is the 12 to 24. And I have to say, I really love it. I love the distortion it gives you. I love how it looks, especially in direct sunlight. I think it gives you a very high fashion image. Obviously you have to be very careful with the angles because if you shoot at the wrong angle, if you're not low enough and your model's legs aren't towards you and so on, the image might look a bit funky, but in general, if you know your angles and you know how to pose your models, it's going to look really awesome. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to see some of my work, you can check out my Instagram or Twitter. They're both Sadovska Photo. Or if you want to check out my YouTube channel where I put up all my tutorials, it is going to be under my name as well. Um, if you want to see some more videos, um, make sure to check out Alpha Universe and we'll see you in the next video.